Okay. All right, cool. So I just want to welcome everybody. Hey, what's up? So we're going to have some candid conversations. I've invited some of my clients who are part of my programs, part of my Play Big Get Paid program. Some of them are in my Next Level Authority program. And we're just going to have some candid conversations. These guys are power players. They're power players on the rise. And what I've noticed is that there's lots of testimonials out there, but what I'm hoping that people will get from these, these candid conversations are that everybody has their own journey and success looks different for everyone. And so I want you to be encouraged and be excited about where you are on your path and on the journey. So I get to have this awesome conversation with this female, <laughs> which I'm so honored to be able to do, so honored to be able to call her a client. She is a phenomenal person inside and out, but she's a phenomenal business and branding coach also. So I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about her. So Umwa, welcome, but tell everybody who you are, what your website is, and tell us about your business. Okay, awesome. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so my name is Umwa Luna. My website is sacredbranding.com. Um, my business is Sacred Branding. Um, so what I do is what I say, I blend the sacred and the strategic to help you build a brand that has heart and soul, but also sells. So um, some of the things I help my clients with are getting really clear on how to position themselves in their brand and do it in a way that's real and authentic and in alignment with their divine purpose. Cause I'm very into um, the spiritual, but in a way that is practical and grounded in reality. <laughs> Awesome. That's so cool. So, um, you know, there's a few things going on with you. I just love watching you because I get to see the behind the scenes of, you know, how you're building your business and then what manifests as a result of the action that you take. Um, I want to start with this most recent success that you have had and kind of talk about that. And then I want to jump into just overall your experience and your journey with being in Play Big Get Paid, moving into where you are right now. So just recently, I watched you take some knowledge that you received from one of the modules in the, in the Play Big Get Paid program, implement it, and then in like a day, it was like probably a few hours, book out like nine sessions, one hour. Less, and it was more than that because I didn't know how to turn it off. <laughs> So it ended up being like 14. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's phenomenal. Like people, some people don't even have one call a month. They don't even know how to get a sales call or just whatever you call it, discovery session, sales calls, whatever you call it. I want you to talk about that. Like, were you hesitant to do it at first? Did you think, what do you think was going to happen? And then what happened and how, what was going on in your head as this whole process was going forward? Um, I was like, okay, I'm just going to put this out there. I was nervous, of course. And you know, I'm an introvert and like, you know, like I'm not one of those people that's like, yeah, and just go hard. Like it's a struggle for me to be visible and put myself out there. And, you know, they say like, you teach what you need to learn, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so this is everything I teach is also my edge, you know? So um, I'm like, okay, I'm going to say that I'm doing it before I do it to make sure that I really do it. <laughs> you know, I did my little preview post of like, yes. coming, you know. That's accountability um, in the making, right? Yes. Your live accountability. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I was like, okay, I, I you know, did my thing. I, 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 you know, I crafted what I was going to say very specifically and how I, how I presented it. Um, and I was like, I don't know if anybody's going to take me up on it. And then, like, nobody said anything for, like, a few minutes. And I'm like, oh, no one's going to sign up. But then, like, you know, 20 minutes later, like, they're half of them are already gone. <laughs> wow. So you said you had this thought, like, nobody's going to sign up. Because this happens to people. You do something, and then there's crickets. And immediately, you think the most negative thing. Like right. the other day, my computer wouldn't turn on. And I was like, I've lost everything. All the videos I didn't upload yet because I've been playing around and not getting to it. Everything's gone. Yeah. I text my husband and then I walk around to my computer and it's unplugged from the backside. <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
And so, like, in 20 minutes, you've booked out three sessions, and you didn't know how to turn it off, so you actually ended up getting 14 sessions scheduled from one post. And what did, what did that feel like? It felt good. And it, it was, like, exciting for me to see that people, like, were, like, so, that so many people wanted to have time with me and that yes. they understood that that was something valuable, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and then there was other people that I was like, okay, sorry, like, I, my schedule's like, like totally full for like the next two and a half weeks, you know, like yeah. I'm done taking people, you know? Yeah, I think that's a powerful conversation about value because we all think that. Like, I think it too sometimes. I'm going to put this out there and nobody's going to think it's worth anything and no one's going to raise their hand. And that stops a lot of people from moving forward, you know, from even trying or they spend so much time trying to tweak it to get it perfect that they never put it out there because that conversation is happening and they think they're the only one having that conversation exactly and like you know what you always say like just take imperfect action so i'm like okay i don't have the scheduling thing perfect i just started using a new one i don't really know what i'm doing but it's better than the other one that i was using that i didn't really know what i was doing (laughs) because i'm not the most tech savvy person right so um i'm very like high touch a little bit low tech (laughs) so even with not you didn't let technology overwhelm you. Exactly. And, and if you had, if you had said, you know what, I don't have, I don't really know how to use my scheduler. I don't really know if anybody's going to respond to this post and not did it. You would have never had the opportunity to talk. That many people were waiting on you to make them that offer. Exactly. Exactly. And, and some of, and then some of the people that showed up, I was like surprised. And then other people that I thought would did it, you know? So it's just interesting. Yeah. Um, and it was funny, too, because one of the people were like, oh, your schedule thing is all fancy. And I was like, oh, really? Because, like, <laughs> like there's a way you could do the banner that looks, like, really professional. But I couldn't figure out how to do it that way. So I just kind of stuck it on there. And it, to me, it didn't look the way it's supposed to look. Yeah. But obviously, nobody cared. And one person thought that it looked very professional. So. Well, there's a <laughs> saying out there that to every second grader, a fifth grader is a god. Right, exactly. exactly. And so, you know, we are always comparing our journey and what we're doing to what other people are doing, and it keeps us stuck in our tracks. It doesn't look like so-and-so's, you know, so I'm just not going to do it because nobody's going to want mine because theirs looks better. Exactly. The reality of it is, is the people that are getting the clients, the people that are getting the successes are the ones that are putting themselves out there and just doing it no matter what. Exactly. And like, I, so one of the people I talked to, I did my first couple three sessions or four sessions, whatever, yesterday, one of the people I talked to, I had done a reading for her three years ago. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, first she told me like how she re-listened to that again and like how impactful it was and how like, you know, it was relating to the stuff that was up now. But she was also like, oh, do you have a website now? And I was like, well, it's not really a website. It's just an opt-in page, but you know, you can go look at it if you want to. And she just laughed because she's like, oh, like she knows I'm doing pretty well in my business. Not like I'm like multimillionaire, but like, you know, and she's like, and how do you do that with that website? I want to know. And I'm like, okay, we can talk about that. But it's like, yeah, you know, people have this idea. You have to have the perfect, big, pretty website and whatever. But it's like most people don't work with you because just because of your website. I mean, some people might look at that, but it's like, if you show up and you're creating value and you know, you have a good reputation. Um, And the other thing is like, you were talking about this the other day of like momentum and like when you put something out there, it doesn't always come back in like real time, the way you think it's going to, you know? So for example, seeds I planted three years ago are being harvested today. It's like a bank account. It's like the universe exactly. owes you because it's a law. It's like you put it out there. You have to get a return. Exactly. The return's going to come, but you got to keep going, you know? Yes. And you have to be patient sometimes. And so that's another thing of like, you know, me putting it out there. There's, there's the momentum of everything I've been doing. And the more that I've like in this past, you know, year, two years, I've been much more willing to like put myself out there and also like, having support makes a huge difference for me. And that like, um, it's not just like accountability that too, but for me, it's like about feeling supported and knowing that somebody believes in what I have to offer. And it's like holding that space for me to succeed. 
and doesn't think I'm going to screw it up, <laughs> you know, which is what I think. <laughs> hey, and here's the deal. Even if you did screw it up, like, I feel like failures, when we fail or when things don't quite go as planned, that's where we learn the most. That's when we can tweak the most. We think we can tweak the most before we do it and make it perfect. When the reality of it is, is that's just, failure is just feedback, right? Exactly. Um, but yeah, I don't believe you're going to screw it up at all. <laughs> you know, yeah. like I said, you're a phenom. And, and I think that the more you put yourself out there, you know, your clients are waiting on you. You know, they're, they're waiting for you to support them in the way that you've been being supported. So um, I'm super proud of you. Like, I'm, I'm excited for what's happening for you and your business. I'm excited about the momentum. Again, I stalk you guys all the time. So instead of stalking my competition, I stalk my clients. <laughs> I want to see what's up and what's going on, which is how I happen to see that post. Um, what has your journey been like? You know, you've been in Play Big, Get Paid. You are actually a graduate of Play Big, Get Paid, which you started at the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. um, now you're moving into next level of authority. What's the journey been like for you? Um, I'm just thinking back to that day when I was like sitting in that, that room and I was like, my heart was racing and I was like, I really want to do this. And I was like, I don't have this, whatever it was like $500 or whatever, you know, I was like, all right, like I'm going to write this credit card number down and I'm just going to have faith that I'm going to figure this out. You know, and I just had been like, you know, I know you for several years and I always had a good experience with you and, you know, been really impressed with who you are and how you show up and, you know, the quality of the work you delivered from the moment that I, you know, met you pretty much, you know, the whole, the whole story. <laughs> I'll just say briefly, like the day that I met Shamika, I met her at this event and you know, I'm like just sitting there listening, taking it all in and she's like taking notes, she's implementing, she's making money at the event. That's how you do it. Money when we learn. I'm just like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, there's, there's a backstory to that, but we'll save that for another day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, so, so that was, you know, I've always been impressed with you out the gate from the day I met you. So I always knew you had something valuable. And then, um, I was like, okay, I'm finally ready to like do this, you know? Mm -hmm. And so from there, I mean, I was, you know, in a much better place than I had ever been previously in my business, but I still had a lot to go. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, this has been like the year that I've made the most amount of money. This is the year where I'm starting to actually feel like safe in my business. Um, I'm starting to feel like, oh, okay, like I can really do this and I can sustain this long term. And like my clients are getting amazing results. And like so many people, like you said, I'm realizing are waiting. They want to know what I'm doing. Like they're excited about what I have to share, you know. I have my class that I'm my first class that I'm teaching that I'm starting tomorrow that I've been, you know, thinking about and dreaming about for a long time. And, you know, I put it off for like, I changed the date like three times, but it's starting tomorrow. It's happening. You know? And one of the people that's in my class is like, I am so excited to work with you. And like, she's like, I just think the world of you and I've been waiting for this moment, you know? And it's just like, okay, you know, like, that's so deep. Hold on. Like, we need to soak that in because I think, um, you know, as I listen to you, I do get a little emotional because I, like I said, I see the journey and I know the backside of what's happening. And we are pulling the veil back on some of that. But I tell people all the time that you're the answer to someone's prayer. And whoever that is, while you're still thinking you're not enough, while you're still trying to figure out you know, what your website's supposed to look like, you know, what your logo's supposed to look like. Oh, I need to get those business cards printed. And you're not putting your stuff out there. Oh, nobody's going to buy. You're not making an offer. They're still praying for the answer. Mm -hmm. And someone literally told you, this is what I've been waiting for. Yeah. Yeah. And to hear words like that, or to hear someone say, like, you're the mentor I've been looking for all this time. Mm -hmm. What does that do for you? 
It feels so good. It's amazing, like how much trust people have and who I am and my character and that and the the like integrity that they know that I have and that, that I'm not going to take their money without giving them the best of what I have to give. You know, yeah. Um, that feels really, really good that so many people know that's who I am because I've had that old story of like, I can't ask for the sale or I can't ask for people to pay me because they're going to think all I care about is their money and that, or that I'm trying to rip them off or I'm charging too much, all that stuff, you know? Um, and I mean, I've had a few people complain about my prices, you know, mm -hmm. but honestly it's been like a few people, like two, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Most people, even if they feel like they can't afford me, they will say, you know, well, I don't have that right now, but I know that you're worth it. And I'm sure that it would be totally worth that. I just don't have it right now, which also is nice for me to hear because that helps take away some of that fear that like, I know that it's worth what, what I'm charging, but are they going to know? Right. Are they, what are they going to think? You know, right. so it helps me to come out of that. A lot of that, those that loop, you know. Yeah, and I hope everybody's getting this because the point is, if you didn't put yourself out there, if you didn't make the offers, if you didn't stop changing the date for the class, right? <laughs> you would have never been able to hear those words, which in turn fuel your fire even more to want it to be a difference for somebody else, right? To make a difference in their life, to make a difference in their business, because now you're like, oh yeah, they believe it. I believe. I mean, I kind of believe, but when I hear somebody else tell me like, this is who I know you are. Here's where your integrity is because of that. I'm willing to, to invest and stand with you and allow you to take part of this journey with me. It changes everything. It changes who you're being. Now you can rise up and be a leader because you know, you have people to lead. Exactly. Exactly. Right? And yeah. And I'm like, so excited. Like I'm like, I, I'm excited that I get to help these people that I know some of them that I love to do like, you know, bring out what I see in them that they can't see for themselves. Like I'm so excited to be able to like give my gifts and change people's lives with like the power of who I am. Like that is such a huge gift about like what we get to do that's different than maybe, you know, sometimes when people have a job or whatever, more normal type of life. <laughs> yes. Well, you just said that you had your biggest year ever. I remember you posting a note. I was stalking you again and happened to see it. I don't remember if you tagged me or not in it, mm -hmm. but you posted a note that you'd been with me for six months and you'd already doubled the revenue that you had made mm -hmm. in the previous year. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to ask you this, like as we begin to wrap up, let's say you, you're talking to somebody with a similar story because you've had other business coaches, you've invested in other programs, right? Mm -hmm. What what would you want to, <laughs> yeah. what would you want to tell them? You know, somebody who's kind of following the same mm -hmm. path that you were following. What what words of encouragement? What um, insights can you give them at this stage? Well, I would say you know pr probably I pr probably invested at least sixty or seventy thousand dollars in like trainings and whatever and coaching over the years, you know. Mm -hmm. Um I don't regret any of that, you know? And sometimes I didn't get what I thought I was gonna get and but I always got something. Yeah. Right. So I, what I would say is, you know, all, this path is not linear. You're not gonna go from point A to B. You know, and a lot of times, like this is something I talk about a lot when you hear people's success stories, you know, you just hear the, you know, the last 10 minutes of the journey, you know, so I would just remind you like not to compare yourself to anybody else and, you know, to be open to things showing up that are supporting you or that are moving you forward, even if they don't look the way you think they're supposed to look, you mm -hmm. know, and to really just trust yourself and whatever decisions you make, one of the biggest things that is gonna hold you back is like doubting yourself, um, doubting your, your decisions. And like, if you decide, if you feel drawn to work with somebody, do it, you know, trust that, you know. For me, I had like a, <clears throat> a double-edged sword with Shamika because it's like, I know her, right? And for me, it's like, kind of, I care a little bit what she thinks about me, you know, <laughs> and 
and um, like I kind of want her to think I'm farther along than I am. <laughs> kind of my friend. A mental note of that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you know, sometimes like you have these like things that are, but it's all about the ego, right? And so it's like okay. And then I also like I'm a little intimidated because I'm like. Well, wow, she's such a go-getter. Like, am I going to be able to keep up with her? You know, like, I'm not like that. Like, I'm, I'm an empath. I'm an intuitive. I'm highly sensitive. I get overwhelmed easily. I'm not a type A hardcore hustler. That's not who I am, you know? I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm like, how is this person going to be able to help me when we're so different, you know? But I just let go of whatever my mind was saying and I trusted my intuition and I followed my heart. And I'm really glad that I did because I haven't worked with anybody else that has been able to hold space for me and pull me forward the way that Shamika has, you know? And <clears throat> so I would just say, you know, as you're moving forward, trust yourself, Go with who you want to go with, regardless of why. Let go of any nonsense, you know, with the ego. Um, let yourself be in the process. Give yourself permission to be on the path, you know. We always, like, want to be there already. And, like, that's something that held me back is, like, I have this big vision. I'm a visionary, right? I can see 100, but I'm really at 10. So I'm trying to get to 100 and skipping everything in between and in the process slamming my head against the wall. Yeah. So now I'm like, okay, okay, I'm at 30 or 40, right? This is where I'm at. It's okay. And if I really want to get to 100, I have to stop pretending that uh, yes. <laughs> I'm yeah. not where I'm at. Yeah. And that I can just skip to 99 without doing the work of all the steps in between. That's so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> you know. Super powerful words. Super powerful words. So one more time, tell them where they can find you at. You can find me at sacredbranding.com. You can also come find me on Facebook where I play a lot more than my website. Um, and my, uh, you can join my Sacred Branding tribe, uh, my, my private group on Facebook. I'd love to come and see you and you can get some tips and all that good stuff. <laughs> awesome. Well, this has been phenomenal. You are always so open, candid, honest, full of wisdom. And I appreciate that about you. Not to mention you're not, you know, you're easy to look at. Gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but I want to thank you. And I, I just really hope that that people get a lot out of this, that this blesses somebody, but also encourages them where they're at and gives them the courage to make the decisions and take the types of actions that they need to take to get the results that they desire to get. So thank you everybody for hanging out with us. I really appreciate you for taking the time to be here. I'm bringing these stories to you because I want you to see that you're not alone, but also that everybody's journey is different. So we'll be back next time with another woman, another power player on the rise. See you later. <laughs>